One of the most beloved and at the same time hated champion of all league. To counter him, you can pick someone like Malzahar, whose kit will make his win wall completely useless, and can win trades pretty easily if he hits his silencing Q. Swain, because he'll get tanky enough before he gets the two core items he needs to take you down, and again, only his E is enabled by Yasuo as well. And Fizz with a Z, who can dodge the only attempt Yasuo can make to knock you up. Akali, who'll burst him down quicker than he can even use two of his Qs. Zed, who can play with his shadows to make him miss his knock up. And Heimerdinger, who can focus on pushing instead of fighting and give him a hard time if he tries to take your turrets down are other good counters too. As for abilities, his passive has two uses. Firstly, it doubles the crit chance from any source, but it also reduces the damage they deal by a bit. Second, every time he moves, he'll be generating flow, which will gain him a shield whenever it's full. His Q makes him strike enemies with his sword in front of him and he can crit. If he casts it again and hits an enemy, it'll prepare his third cast to throw a tornado that knocks enemies in his back. His W creates a wall that will block enemy projectiles, but not turret shots. It also blocks the dragon and baron stacks. His heal allows him to dash through every single enemy and monster in the game, but he can only dash through the same enemy every 10 to 6 seconds depending on the level. Finally, his ultimate will make him blink to knock up enemy champions and suspend them for an extra 1 second. It also resets his shield, Q, and makes his crit have extra bonus armor. Speed. There's a good chance you'll die quite quickly after getting hit by this. What's the trick? Do not get knocked up with a Yasuo nearby. In terms of spells, Ignite will take the cake for him, but you might also see him playing Teleport if he feels like playing a bit more passively. Taking Exhaust versus him whenever he's about to engage you, or Ignite as well if you plan on bursting him down with CC is also really viable. In terms of power spikes, he'll be most useful in the mid game after getting his Infinity Edge and Phantom Dancer, which will net him full 100% crit chance. Level 2 is a clear engage opportunity for him if you're not careful, and if you're the tank on your team, then Renduin's Omen is a really good item because of his critical strike reduction. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, his wind wall only blocks projectiles, but not abilities that get instantly cast like Ennis W. You can take down his passive shield with a single auto if you're ranged, so take it down before engaging with abilities, and he becomes quite vulnerable for a while after missing his tornado. Ultimately, have fun doing it.